Are we ready? Yeah. Good evening. Uh, welcome to the Town of Canlis Planning Commission meeting for May 2nd, 2023. It will be a relatively short meeting. We only have one item on the agenda. And that item is the Bruner Consolidation Plan application on Lincoln Boulevard. Uh, it calls for a presentation and discussion. Uh, I don't see anyone here to present. So how do you want to proceed? Yeah, I can roll through this. This is super basic. So um, let me just pull it up on the screen so we can all be looking at the same thing. Okay. Sorry, I have a bunch of pop-ups because this is a new computer. Um, all right. So this is how oh, Adobe looks different than it used to. How do I zoom? Um, sorry, it's really small. There we go. Um, this is a very basic lot uh, consolidation plan. And I'm sorry, I don't know where any of my tools are in this new computer. Um, so the applicant owns both of these parcels here. This is where their home is. This parcel over here, you know, I assume was sold as part of when they purchased their home, but just is not officially consolidated into their existing um, parcel, which especially in the president's neighborhoods around there, it seems like that tended to happen a lot in McCandless over the years. Um, so when we have people come in and want to put an accessory structure on, you know, this vacant portion of land that they own, that's when you find out, oh, well, technically these are two different parcels in zoning terms. And so there's no primary structure on this one for them to put a garage as it were, which is what they'd like to do. Um, so the, easiest way to do that rather than trying to get a variance to put it over there because technically they're both their property and blah 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 is to just come through here and consolidate it first so that we can review their zoning application you know without having to overcome the quirk of not having a primary structure on the lot um so when I distributed your packets last week there was still a couple cleanup items that they had um, their designer needed to complete those have since been completed. And just this morning, Gateway issued a new review letter, which is clean. That's in the digital packet. Um, but it was just uploaded, you know, a handful of hours ago. So if you didn't look at the Dropbox, you know, today, um, that's new. But there are no remaining comments. So if you all are um, willing to make a recommendation on this, we don't even need to put a condition on it. So basically, go ahead. I, I just have a real quick question. So lot four was already resubdivided at some point? It would seem so, maybe. Um, I think that these are what we call the bingo lots. Did we talk about those during the zoning? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this 25 foot wide one, I think that these were probably all bingo lots. And at some point, things shuffled hands, you know, a little bit in okay. there. Yeah. Okay. So, so those lot identifiers, even as is, don't match the Allegheny County lot block number scheme. Yeah. This, like having those lot one, two, three, four, probably like usually what happens when you see that is they took the underlying original subdivision plan that they could pull from the county and then designed on top of it. So we're not confusing for some time, something in the future what is going to be half of lot four and lot five? Um, well, lot five, this is, I think this like, if, yeah, my, my cursor shows up, where this hard black line is, yeah. you know, this over here looks like, I think that's their neighbor's property. And then where this thick black line is here over, these are the parcels that they own. Right now, this line is dividing them. And so we would be eliminating okay. that lot line. So, but back to my question, lot five legitimately is what on this diagram says. It will be lot five plus half of lot four, which is on this diagram. That is legitimately now lot five. Um, I don't, I don't think that like this property here that involves lot five is not actually involved in this subdivision. No, plan. I know it's not, but I'm okay. just, I don't want to do I, something and then create a confusing oh, situation okay. down the line. I. 
you know, all I can say is that, that those markers aren't really material to our review. And I, I don't know why they're there other than that probably once upon a time, these were five lots in here and they just designed on top of the original subdivision. What is actually material to what we're approving are these dashed right. lines. The, the so heavy, heavy which, which, the heavy black line. Yeah. Yes, heavy black line. And then the extinguished line, which is going to be this one right here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I honestly don't know why there's okay, just, just so this here. So lot five is going to go from the right over to that, that, that heavy black line. Uh, you want to call that lot five? Sure. You know, like the, these, these are not like these one through five. Those are not actual oh, labels okay. that well, we. I'm just looking at the drawing. Yeah. But it could be historical yes. lines that maybe don't have a record of being extinguished. Yeah. So the plan is just summarizing the new lots and, and clarifying that those are no longer a lot line. Yeah. Like nothing, like never, whether this is lot five or lot 20, like it, it it's just there because that's what they pulled, I guess, to show okay. historically. But the Watkins residence goes from the right to that solid black line. It, yes, that's what it appears to okay. me to be. And I think the chairman's question is, we're not creating anything non-conforming on the Watkins property with this lot line. Oh, no, we're not doing anything to their property at all. Right. So one would hope those lines are extinguished because two houses go through the middle of the lines. Yeah, I. I it seems like it's got to be a historical mm -hmm. issue because this bingo lot right here got chopped in half to make this parcel over here at some point. <laughs> however, I guess, you know, however many years ago. And they're enlarging their property. Well, they're not enlarging it, they're consolidating it, but it will be a larger single property. Yes. Uh, so that they can put a garage and do we even know where the garage is gonna go or do we care? Over here. And, but but they, they'll come to us later for that? Um, well, not here because that's not a that's not a land development plan. Okay, they because they've already got the house, they can build a garage. Yes. Mm -hmm. But either way, that would be an administrative approval through the building. Okay. Department. All right. All right. Uh, any questions from anybody on the commission? Nope. I see a lot of shaking heads. No. Uh, and any public comment that we have to listen to? We've got nobody. Nobody. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sue or Shelley, any comments? No. Okay. All right, uh, then I guess we need a motion to recommend uh, for approval of the Bruner Consolidation Plan. I'll recommend. I'll motion, second? Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed? Aye. Motion is approved. Before we move on to the, the minutes, I just wanted to announce for everyone's benefit, if you recall the Bowler Plan, it was on Harmony and Willoughby. They were trying mm -hmm. to make utilities, yeah. crazy topography, yeah. sewers. Um, this was the last meeting before their deadline <laughs> for extension of review um, that they could have come before you all. Obviously, they're not on the agenda, so um, they weren't able to figure it out within that time frame. So they withdrawn again. Um, they may eventually come back and resubmit. You know, I'm under the impression that Mr. Bowler is still in the hunt to try and get it done, but there were just some engineering questions that they couldn't overcome in the factoring. So for now, that's on pause until we get another application. All right. Um, all right, we'll move on to item number two, which is the approval of the April 4, 2023 minutes. Any uh, changes, edits, comments regarding the minutes? None? No? Nope. All right. Then uh, I need a motion to approve the April 4, 2023 minutes. Moved. Jonathan moves to approve them. Second. Al seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. I abstain. All right. We have one abstention. All right, um, we've got an item that says general public comment, but I don't think there are, is any we general public. <laughs> it's just us. 
All right. Then any comments, anything uh, to talk about before we adjourn? Doesn't sound like it. All right, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. Second, Second from Jonathan. All in favor of adjournment? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No. We are adjourned. Short and sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank Good night. you.